Attention comedy musicians and comedy music fans. The Logan Awards are taking open nominations for outstanding comedy songs and videos released last year for this year's awards. Did you release a comedy song or music video in 2021 or have a favorite comedy song or video that was released then? Then nominate it for the Logan Awards today. The Logan Awards are essentially the Comedy Music Awards, sponsored annually by the Funny Music Project and are presented in three categories. Outstanding Original Comedy Song, Outstanding Parody Song, and Outstanding Comedy Music Video. If you have a comedy song that was released in 2021 that you'd like to nominate for 2022's awards, head to loganawards.com and click the Nominations tab at the top. There is a minimum and maximum of five nominations per person. Hurry! Nominations close this year on January 22nd. For more details about Logan himself, the awards, and more, check out loganawards.com. Help us commemorate this year's best comedy songs and music videos with a trophy, the way they do with every other form of entertainment. But if you want your favorites to win, you have to nominate them by January 22nd, 2022. Get your nominations in now at loganawards.com. Brought to you by thefump.com. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan. And if you're a comedy music fan like I am, perhaps you saw the ad before all of this talking about the Logan Awards. Today is one of the last days to get your nominations in for your favorite comedy songs released in 2021 for this year's awards. Any comedy song be it original or parody, is eligible, as well as any comedy music video, just as long as they were released in 2021. So go ahead, go over to loganawards.com, click the nominations tab at the top, and put in your nominations. Uh, perhaps a nomination from somebody who just released a new album, which is now available on CD at insaneian.bandcamp.com. You can stream it there as well, and it's also available on Apple Music, Amazon, YouTube Music, and I think Spotify soon. Shameless plug. Anyway, hi, welcome. It's been a while. I'm back with two videos this week. This is the second, and uh, we're going to be reacting to a new Tom Cardi song, and Tom Cardi has done a parody. It's not unusual for him to do parody. He doesn't do it a lot. Mostly original songs, but he does do the occasional parody. Usually they're a lot shorter. Um, but uh, this one is a parody of Bad Guy by Billy Elish called Soft Boy. Uh, it came out a couple weeks ago. I've been meaning to get to this, but I've been feeling a little burnt out doing these videos. So I'm, I'm back. I'm ready to go with this. So let's, let's dive in. Uh, before we do, I will say I do have a lot more Tom Cardi coming. Uh, he's released a lot of videos and a couple of videos earlier that I never got to. So I think next week uh, there's going to be quite a few Tom Cardi songs to get through, as well as more than likely like next week, next Saturday probably, uh, I will be doing the second half of my uh, Bendy playthrough of chapters 3 and 4 and then the reaction to Stupendium's Art of Darkness. So I'm pretty sure that's going to happen next Saturday. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye out on the community tab on the channel for that. And if you aren't subscribed, uh, do that. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell thingy. All sorts of fun stuff like that. Helps the channel grow and get more eyeballs on the stuff. Um, the live stream, of course, is to help celebrate the fact that I hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm almost at 11,000 now, so thanks, y'all. Anyway, Tom Cardi. We're gonna check out this bizarre parody. It's almost like <laughs> the the music is almost mostly vocal. I mean, I know the song is very minimalist in its presentation anyway, but uh, wow. All right, let's, let's I'm, I had to turn it up. <laughs> These sets which is not even sets, they're obviously just green screen backgrounds, but still, it's very, very entertaining <laughs> already, and he hasn't even said anything.
Oh. The soft hipster boys. Uh, they like to do sex with me. Is just... There's something inherently funny about people referring to sex as doing sex. Just just the, the wrong usage of making sex a verb always makes me laugh. There is an amazing uh, song by Schaefer the Dark Lord, who's a nerdcore rapper, who he does a song called Do Sex. Uh, and uh, it's about how he's going to screw everyone in the crowd uh, of his live shows. Uh, it's an amazing song. Seek that out. And also, Schaefer's amazing to see live anyway. But, uh, yeah. Uh, every time somebody says, do sex, I just think of that song. It's a great song. But uh, this is hilarious already. Hey, girl, brought you some poetry. I'm a <laughs> to society. I work politically correct. My Instagram bio says feminist. <laughs> I, I <laughs> it's hard to find out if he's like making fun of something like that or you know there are people who take uh, social awareness to the extreme I understand that there's nothing wrong with being socially aware and wanting social justice but taking it to an extreme is absolutely ripe for being made fun of. Um, even in the previous video I just did, I completely missed a reference that Al was making fun of Bo Burnham in the Weird Al vs. Bo Burnham uh, subpar rap battles of YouTube by Wee Scheme. Uh, I completely missed in the opening line that he was making fun of him for being kind of representatively like only being woke in performatively, per being performatively woke rather than actually doing activist type things. Um, I, is that what he was referring to according to the first line, according to We Scheme, who pointed that out in the comments section? Uh, I missed that completely. Um, so I'm trying to be a little bit more open-minded about uh, parody of things that uh, are along that side of the political spectrum, we'll say. Sure. So you're a smart girl, had a broken heart, girl, support creative art, girl. <laughs> do you read Descartes, girl? Those are some great line rhymes. Do you read Descartes, girl? <laughs> That's nice and obscure and, and very, very hipstery. I dig it. That's very funny. Thanks, my Instagram bio says feminist. So you're a smart girl, had a broken heart, girl, support creative art, girl. Do you read Descartes, girl? I'm a good boy, so misunderstood boy. Wait a second. Let's watch the 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 do you read Descartes girl thing threw me off there for a second. Watch him throw the book away. Oh, damn. It's the wrong button. There's the book. And there it is, on the edge of the green screen. <laughs> so the green screen edge is right there in the middle of the screen. <laughs> I just, it caught me there for a second. I saw it disappear and I'm like, it didn't go all the way across the screen. <laughs> uh, oh, green screen filming. It's the best. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why it's a silly thing to laugh at, but it just struck me as funny. Sleets alone in a loft boy. I'm a soft boy. And there's the green screen. You can see the edge of it. random <laughs> just the thing about the beanie is so random like okay i know so many guys like this <laughs> and i'm sure everyone does 
The performative wokeness. Yeah. <laughs> if you refer to yourself as woke, you probably aren't. Honestly. <laughs> How's it going, beautiful? Haven't heard from you in a few hours. Hope you're staying sexy. Lol, I've been at work. Your eyes are like the ocean. I could swim in them forever. You send some weird messages. <laughs> Screenshot your text to all my friends so that they can make fun of him. That's so funny. Don't understand that reference. I don't know who Kevin Parker is. Is it an Australian thing? Possibly. Probably. I don't get that one. Someone, please, in the comments, explain it to me. Sorry. Of course you have your of course you have your own podcast. Oh my god, that's genius. <laughs> and there's a thing up in the corner that says Triple J, so like, was this like an entry for some contest or something? I think it was, because I think I remember him posting a, a TikTok or something about Vote For Me on Triple J. So. I was a little rough rhyme scheme there, trying to shove too many syllables into the pocket. So that's a, that's a thing in, in parody is you want things to fit the scansion and throwing in extra syllables like that makes it sound a little off. Um, admittedly, some people do that specifically for the comedic effect of it sounding over stuffed, which is absolutely valid as well. Um, so in a line like that being, you know, a little too over syllabic, can't even say that word, over syllabic, meaning too many syllables in it. Uh, yeah, with, with something like that being a little overstuffed, it makes humorous sense in the fact that it, it because it's so overstuffed, that in itself is inherently funny, not only with what you're trying to say. Uh, and they're also trying to say, like, this is the only way I can express how being creepy you are. <laughs> That's a great rhyme. <laughs> Wants to cut the ties, think I'd rather die. <laughs> There, there is his uh, Twitter head header right now. <laughs> I can't believe that there's actually a TV show called F Boy Island. Of course, it's on HBO Max. But uh, yeah, that exists. That's so funny. Perfect. Oh, stop texting me. Of Of course, uh, just me taking as many hipster soft stereotypes and shoving it all into one song. So good. Hitting all on all of her friends. That's so good. That that one shot of her dancing, looking like she's disgusted dancing. I had to bring back. Like, the the look on her face as she's, like, getting down with the song is like, no. But still, the body is there. <laughs> the body looks like it's being happy. The face is not happy. <laughs> that, kind of, that kind of dichotomy makes me laugh, you know? That one. Yeah, it was for Triple J. Bravo. That was amazing. 
<laughs> there's a there's a hint as to what I'm uh, reacting to next time, uh, right there on the screen. But uh, I made it go away anyway. Uh, that was Tom Cardi's soft boy. Uh, whenever anybody uses the term soy as an insult, uh, I, I guess that's what they mean. Uh, that entire song. But, uh, whatever. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Uh, if you, uh, if you like these videos, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification to find out when new videos pop up. Uh, do these reactions as well as music videos of my own. Go vote in the Logan Awards. Vote for Tom Cardi. Maybe not that song, because I'm pretty sure that came out in, uh, this past year. Let's see. No. That song is eligible because it came out December 13th of 2021. So, if you want to nominate that song for the Logan Awards, go right ahead. Um, but yeah, nominate any song that came out in 2021, as long as it was comedy, for the Logan Awards. And hurry up and do that because the nominations end on the 22nd, which uh, is technically Saturday. So, anyway, thanks. We'll see you next time with more Tom Cardi reactions. And, you know, the stupendium thing later. Bye. Now Elle is hunting me. He thinks that I'm the Kira. I met him and he's like me, only kinda weirder. He likes coffee with the sugar man is in the sweets. He's picking on the net, he's always in his bare feet. So now I'm on the test force, trying to kick myself. Living that double life, no one suspects me here but Elle. And now I have a girlfriend, she has a death note too. Started as a cuppy.